Okay, this is a video for Grand Prix 2. Uh, we'll just be having a quick race on here today, just uh, just for a bit of fun. Just playing this old game after so many years. Um, just see how we get on with this. Um, been sort of inspired to play this game by uh, Ted Meat and his season that he's done on Grand Prix 2. And also GP2 Joey, um, who've also yeah, done another great season on the game as well. Um, obviously they're a lot better than I am. I've just been doing this for a bit of, bit of fun. But... Um, uh, yeah, as I say, that made me want to want to play this game again after so many years. Um, you'll see there's a couple of add-ons on the game. We'll be using GP2 Lap, which you can see over here in the top right. Also, I've got a couple of uh, driver changes, uh, different to how the original game is. We've got Senna here in the Williams, um, and uh, we've got Ratzenberger there still in his Simtech. So, uh, using sort of sort of add-ons there, but we've uh, set those drivers. Back to their teams there. I'll be jumping in the Ferrari. Will uh, Alacy can uh, give way to me just for a just for a few laps today? I'm sure he won't mind. So yeah, we'll choose the Ferrari there. Now playing with a uh, an old Xbox 360 USB controller, um, which seems to work fine for this for this game for me anyway. Um, using the game through DOSBox on modern on modern Windows, probably the easiest way to get this game working. Uh, download DOSBox and uh, works absolutely fine from there. So we'll just do a quick race. Um, the reason I'm choosing the Portuguese track is you don't you don't really see this track anymore in recent games. I don't you know it's not not used much anymore. Obviously not on the F1 calendar either. So um, we'll go to Estoril and we have a, a few laps of, of Portugal and see how we get on. Um, You'll see in the top left, that's the standings there that is done by the add-on from GP2 lap. Um, so you can see how the race is unfolding in the top left corner there. Um, I've got automatic gears on here, as I say, um, manual braking but automatic gears. Damage is on. So that could be a bit of a risk, that could be a bit of a disaster in a minute, but we'll see how we we'll see how we go. I'll throw a dive bomb down here on the first lap. So starting 15th, we'll... Um, I don't know, we'll try and get a top 10 finish or something like that, I don't know. Just keep it clean at the start. You'll see on the, the tracks, uh, had some updates as well. You can get the GP2 edit, as it changes the tracks, graphics and the car sets and, and bits like that. So you can still uh, you can still mod this game to bring it up to or even have a modern car set in it if you want, or just change the tracks about, or or, or the car sets and um, sponsors and different bits like that, car shapes and stuff. I've been playing this game so much as a kid, hours and hours and hours. Okay, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a barge, but we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Everywhere. I haven't really calibrated the uh, control pad very well for the game either, to be honest. So it's a bit. It's not really like analog, you know, it's a bit stop start, such as that. I've just pushed the McLaren right off into the gravel there. That'll be me penalised in modern day F1. Probably banned, actually, for something like that. But um, yeah, we'll uh, survive with our front wing still there, so we'll, we'll forget about that and move on. Three laps left. 10th place. Yeah, I remember I had this game for Christmas when I was a kid. I thought it must have been like. 96 I guess it would have been I think the game was out in 96 even though it's for the 94 F1 season so just as a young boy then I remember being amazed by this game thinking how realistic it looked and I was hours and hours after school playing it all the time and I didn't realise and a friend of mine came come along one day and told me about how you can easily mod it and stuff and get Grand Prix 2 edit and put a new car set on and, and then that was it then I was just fixed playing it all the time non-stop you 
you see how much faster in a straight line I am than these than these cars. As I say, I'm playing it on an easy mode. I don't even pretend to be any any good at this game. Um, Left. Let's get some clean, clean passes in. I can see sixth place up there. Let's try and get a point. I think that'll be out of our. Yeah, I think that'll be out of reach to be honest. But we'll give that a try. Okay, there goes my front wing. I was worried about the Tyrrell crunching me from the side. And then I ended up plowing into, I didn't even see what that was in front of me. I don't know if it was a leisure or, or what. I won't pit as it's the last lap. But I'm probably gonna be spinning off all over the place now. Yeah. I find it difficult to keep it on the, on the track there, so. I reached seventh place. That was the. That was about the. Oh, transmission problem. All we'll duck into the pits really quickly to get that sorted. It just popped up before the. Before the pit lane entrance there. So yeah, that put pay to our race anyway. As frustrating as that used to be when you're doing a longer race, I used to. I used to really like that that was a feature in the game, you know, like a mechanical issue like that could happen. And even this, this long pit stop, I guess. I don't remember, I've chosen three stops now. happened before it's come up to a minute pit stop and I've pressed fire so many times to carry on I don't know I don't know if that's glitched then it must have done been in the pits over a minute now so yeah that was a bad end to the race obviously it would have been a retirement anyway if it hadn't have happened right before the start finish line there so yeah, that put pay to the race. That's disappointing, and there is the finish. Senna one, Schumacher, Hill, Hakkinen, Frentzen, and Katayama, who I was, uh, yeah, who I was racing with at one point. Until everything went wrong. So yeah, to recap that race, it was a messy race all through. With all through, all have got penalties anyway for barging into people. Then they've got a transmission problem on one lap left, and then I was stuck in the pits for over a minute, waiting for that to be fixed. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a, a bit of a demonstration for this game after so long. <laughs> and there's Berger now. Berger is has a loose wheel in the Ferrari, queuing up behind me, whilst I am still stuck in the pits pressing fire constantly to to be released uh, but Berger's gonna Berger's gonna be there for a long wait unfortunately so never really seen this happen before the race is gonna not say race over now because me and Berger are sort of stuck doing nothing there's Panis crossing the line again We'll watch then I just cross the line once more and see if that throws the race back to the menu otherwise I'll just quit. So Berger would have been in the top six, Berger would have come in I guess on the last lap for his loose wheel which would have prompted me to sixth 
if I could have just stayed stayed in the position I was in. I can't remember where I was when I pulled into the pits. Was I at seventh or eighth now? I don't know. But, um, let's have a look what happens here. And strangely, that would have been Berger pitting on his very last lap. So I w why wouldn't he have just crossed the line with his loose wheel instead of jumping into the pits? That must have been lap four he was pitting on. I've never seen this happen on Grand Prix 2 before. They're going to cross the line again. And now they're stopping. I guess that's Senna running out of fuel. That all of them running out of fuel now. There's my eternity pit stop. Yeah, this has become interesting now that the game sort of glitched a little bit, and we're seeing all the cars just time out in a way in the game because they're just circulating until they've run out of fuel. So there, in a minute, it's going to be left with the two Ferraris in the pits and every other car floating away. Oh yeah, Panis pitted, didn't he? So he had more fuel. So that would be why he's carrying on. Right, we'll, we'll end it there then because we can just see that they've all They've all retired, and the game, I guess, will just be stuck forever with me and Berger in the pits. And there we go. That didn't intend to be a video showing Grand Prix 2 sort of glitching out at the end there. I guess the glitch was called by me pitting immediately for transmission problem. But there we go. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed that little... Uh... Yep. I know what we'll do. That didn't quite quench my thirst enough considering everything was going wrong. I'm getting a flight from Portugal straight to Australia, Adelaide. Last race of the season, a lady lent us the Ferrari once more. Let's see how we get on with this. Yeah, that's a bad start. Wing gone again. We'll just use the little auto uh, reset the car spin that round there because I wouldn't have been able to do a uh, with this controller. I wouldn't have been able to change the gears to get it back to the donut to reset the car. Carry on with a broken wing of the Ferrari. Let's see where we can. Okay, they're so slow around here. What is going on? Right, another messy lap there. All I want on this video is to get a, a good lap in, a clean lap, even if it's with a broken wing. Let's try and... Uh... Oh, 
Verstappen in front. Maybe he'll be told to let me pass, then just stop right in the middle of the track and I'll smash into the back end. Too early for the corner there. Blundell retiring there just in front, getting taken away. Finally a clean lap, first one really of the whole, well, first couple of races there, just got a fastest lap there, right, someone's off ahead, the yellow's out there, uh, Vine is now out, he's getting pulled, pulled away from the track down the right hand side. Okay, 12th place finish there. Schumacher takes the win. We'll just carry on this time and see if we actually get the race over, which we didn't get didn't get before. <coughs> So have a quick look at that. It was a uh, 
Schumacher and Hill first and second Adelaide 94 right let's, uh, let's just end one one final one I thought this would be one one quick race but no, I'm sort of into it now I want to do a third one um, let's have a look. I always like Canada Canada was a good track let's have a little, a little quick race Canada Only three laps for Canada must be uh, just due to the the time or circuit length or whatever. Right, let's try and end the race with a front wing this time. Start still fifteen. Keep the wheels on there. I saw that coming in the mirror from miles away. The bundle just launched it down there. Yeah, I'm so breaking so so soon in some of these corners, way too early. Second time in a row I've done that. There's the lotus flies past me now. Oh, I'm in orbit. And yeah. We'll watch that one again because I think I need, uh, I think I need a pilot's license for, for that one. Let's have a look at that crash again. Terrible race anyway, it's all over the place for the whole the whole race and then I've been launched coming back on the track. Yep. So I hit the wall there. Zanardi's so coming up. I've gone the grass, I come back right into him, my fault obviously, zooming through the air, all wheels and wings gone. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get back to the pits from that position. Um, I think that might be a retirement. Let's have a look from Zanardi's view. Yep, he's absolutely fine. He makes the corner. He's, uh, yeah. One more view. I've all watched it from behind Fitty Powdy. Let's just have a look. Yep, what a mess. There's a pile of Ferrari bits he drives past. And we'll watch the, we'll watch the rest of the race. I don't think Alacy will be um, letting me drive his Ferrari again. So let's see if Senna can hold out from what well he can, he's miles ahead of Schumacher on the last lap. Here we're in third, Irvine, Berger and Hakkinen, close together. There's Jos Verstappen. Senna coming home for his, his, his winning his Williams there. Setting the fastest lap as he uh, gets his win. No, he loses that to Schumacher straight away. And Hill takes third. Oh, look at this for fourth, fifth, and sixth. I don't even. Did Irvine take. Did Berger take fourth there? I don't. Let's have a look at. Yep, yeah, I'll get that picture for my crash. Actually, let's just go back to the cockpit view for a second. Oh, I thought that was going to be a coming together after the finish line there. Let's have a look at the results there and just see what happened at the end there. Okay, yeah, Berger took it from Irvine, or kept it from Irvine, by literally thousandths of a second there. And even Hakkinen was only a, another couple of attempts behind. Yep, I didn't even get a clean lap in. That middle lap I did. Six seconds off of the, the pace. Yeah, so that's 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 it. That's it for Grand Prix two. So I hope you uh, liked a few of the weird things going on there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.